Okay. And one more thing. Um, oh, also, you see this uh, this highlighted line. Like, how many of us in BI and dashboards or whatever, like, always wanted conditional formatting? Well, now you have it. Style rules. Literally a little piece of SQL logic and then CSS. I mean, how cool is that? You can have heat maps and all kinds of stuff and highlight stuff in the grid. And, like, that's just, it's just so cool that I can do that right within my query and not have to do some, like, convoluted, ridiculous formula. I mean, I guess you could say this is a formula, but it's literally just SQL. If class equals C, highlight the row. Cool. But... I was going to say, um, I mentioned the hotbar earlier, and the hotbar is also useful for um, setting up other kinds of like fancy actions. So let me highlight this and open the bar, and I'll go to fabric, and I have it configured uh, so it knows how the system works, it knows how the canvas works, it knows how the queries and visas work. So I should be able to just go here and say, I'm going to click Claude, and I'm going to say... Uh, Hey, take this table, um, create two new blocks with two new group buys, and then for each of those group buys, uh, low cardinality group buys, for each of those group buys, create uh, a visualization to show it off, and then maybe another hiccup block just describing what you found, please. And then I can send all this to an LLM, be it local or, or wherever. And because the D D DSL is pretty basic and it's unified, right, the data access, the visualization, the rendering, it's all one layer. It makes it very easy, well, not very easy, but it makes it a lot easier to explain. Created new blocks for Bigfoot sightings analysis, including group by queries, visualizations, and a summary. Nice. I mean, not nice. This is ugly as hell. But you get you, you get you get my drift. Right? As the models get better, this kind of thing will be more interesting and useful. And uh, it's actually, it's actually kind of not bad. I mean, to these horrible stacked bars, but and these Vega light stuff. But hey, you know, uh, this kind of stuff is great for like if I have a viz and I like I don't like if I'm using recharts and I'm like, oh, I don't know what the what this the uh the key was to like change the you know add the label you know it's cool to use an lm for that and just be like hey like can you just like can you make this thing blue and and it will but in this case it it understands enough to control the canvas right to build different blocks to move stuff around through position stuff and like i said as the models get more uh as it gets smarter that'll be very interesting in how we end up like you know I hate to use the term co-pilot because it's so overused and co-opted by marketing people. But, you know, if we're building a dashboard or doing an analysis, you know, it's not doing it for you. You're kind of doing it together. And that's kind of where I think systems like this are probably going anyways. So I, I've been saying, you know, make a system for humans first, but make it um, – compatible, make it machine friendly, right? Human first, but machine friendly. So I know I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, this is using fabric and uh, Claude uh, to make uh, some, some ugly Vega light charts, but you know what? They're, they're right. And sh she made the queries as well. You know, these queries were created. These queries are still uh, subquery of my main guy here. Like she didn't do anything bizarre. Um, you know, I'll take that as a I'll take that as a win. And then these are just like fungible objects within my dashboard, right? I can I can drag this out and say, oh, well, I want to count this up, and I want to count that up, and I want to say, uh, uh, hey, uh, this was a kind of a cool thing. I'm I'm so rambling, dude. Um, see this 357. So if you're a dashboard guy, you'll you'll appreciate this. So this 357 is a cell, right? It's the first row of this card in the count uh, column, right? And I always kind of wanted that, it's, but it's kind of esoteric, right? But if I say, hey, I'm gonna, hey, 357, I want that as text, and I get 357. And if you see inside the code, um, it's literally just, you know, table, field, row. And what's cool about that is that if this was like some kind of metric, that kept changing all the time, um, it would just stay right here on the top and show you the top one, whatever that was. You know, if I wanted to say, 
Uh, so this is probably ordering, you know, yeah. So let's uh, let's make this a little smaller. And you know, I want to say I'll just order ascending. And my 357 is now one. Well, part of one. Oh, and the one keeps getting bigger. A anyways, you kind of you kind of get just just another another cool thing, right? Um, and I don't know if I mentioned it also, but if I take fields from this, right? I'm grouping by, or I'm doing some kind of operation on it, and I click on this, uh, you can see the fields are highlighted, like where they're delineated, where they came from. It's kind of cool. Uh, anyways, that's not really important, but I, th I think it's cool. <laughs> anyways, uh, so at least this video is not as bad as the last one. Um, all right, I'll be back.